Today we're going to drill a hole in a sphere to make a bead using the Gunther multi-drill system. Here we have a Laramar sphere with no hole in it. We are going to use the bead nest insert to securely drill a starter hole in the sphere. The bead nest has a concave indent for the bead to rest in. Now first we loosen the bolt and remove the metal counterpart insert and replace with the bead nest. Be sure to tighten the bolt again to, securely the, to secure the bead nest. Now you'll notice the distance between the end of the drill bit is too far from the bead nest, so you'll need to adjust the table height. Your drill, drill press might adjust different than, different than this one, um, but this one has a locking bolt and turn crank. Raise the table so that it touches the center of the bead nest when the drill bit is lowered as far down as it can go. This will ensure that it is centered and you can set your drill stop to zero. You might need to do some fine adjustments with a hammer, um, but we, we don't necessarily recommend a metal hammer because it is a magnet. You, you could use a rubber mallet or a plastic mallet. Um, they work great. Now if you have a larger bead that doesn't fit when the nest uh, is adjusted to this height, you can adjust the table down until it fits, but try and keep the bead centered in the middle of the uh, bead nest. Put your sphere in the bead nest, turn on your water and power, and grab your bead. Now drill halfway through the bead to create your starter hole. It does not have to be exactly halfway, but deep enough to remove the core so that it can rest securely on the counterpart. Once you have a good starter hole, remove the bead nest and replace with the metal insert with the counterpart. Now you will have to lower the table because the drill press table so that the counterpart will fit. sure that the counterpart is aligned with the drill bit using the same process that we use to align the bead nest. Now set your sphere on the counterpart so that the counterpart post goes in the starter hole. Make sure you're using a counterpart with the same diameter as your drill bit. Now turn on your water and power and now drill through the sphere from the other side. It's important to pulse drill so that the water boils from the hole to remove the cut debris. Now don't remove the end of the drill bit while pulsing or you might chip the edge of the hole. Just let up on the downward pressure slightly until the water boils out and then resume pressure and then let up and then resume pressure again. And just repeat until you're all the way through. You'll feel the drill bit go through the other side and touch the counterpart. Now try not to put too much pressure on the counterpart when, you go th when, when you're through the hole because you can damage your drill bit or your counterpart. There you have it. We have successfully turned a sphere into a bead with a perfectly centered hole.